Oh, hey, good morning. Welcome to another video blog. Uh, I woke up this morning getting ready to uh, take some boxes to the recycler. Start my new day here at This and That Furniture and More. If you don't mind, I'm going to take you for the ride. Make sure you click the like button, uh, click the subscribe button, and share the video. And I uh, appreciate you following along with me. It's your boy DJ Vitamo. Another new blog. So stay tuned as we take a trip down to the recycler. Literally legendary. AG always throws it, and I think they have some more VIPs left. I mean, this party is so crazy, so exclusive. It all right, so we're heading to the recycler right now. One of the things about owning a furniture store is, you know, when you open boxes, there are a lot of boxes left behind. So we're on our way to the recycler to drop off the boxes right now. And uh, once we get there, we'll let you see the process of unloading the truck and uh, putting the boxes in the recycle bins uh, so they can be recycled and be used again. I got to remember if I close my tailgate. So let me get right back with you. Okay, so I did close the back of the truck. Now I'm on my way once again to the recycler. Like I said, I'll show you the process once I get there. Pretty simple. Just break down your boxes and try to make as much room as you can at the recycling plant because, of course, you have thousands of people coming by every day, dropping off boxes and everything. So, this is a day in the life, DJ Vitamo. When he's not DJing, Have a great day. You too, man. Have a good weekend. You too. Thank you. All right, y'all. Just got finished at the recycler, dropping off all the boxes. Real nice gentleman there. Always helps out when uh when I stop by. He's a retired person. Uh, he loves to stay busy, so he always helps out when uh when I'm unloading the boxes and everything, which makes my job a lot easier because it is hot out here today. But I'm glad that I did get there when I got there because that container is almost filled. And like he said, the drivers don't come and get the container until Monday, so uh, I came right on time because it's almost at capacity. I'm uh, not sure if they have any more available for the weekend, so. But anyway, I'm on my way back to the store. Well, actually, I gotta go by the house first to grab a purple couch to take to the store to set up on the, uh, the showroom floor and I'll get back with you in a few minutes. I appreciate you riding along with us. Once again, this is my new vlog, DJ Vitamo. What he does when he's not DJing behind the turntables at the, at the, the, uh, the bar, at the restaurants, or at a wedding somewhere. Uh, we have a furniture store called This and That Furniture and More, me and my wife. We just like to take you on a journey with us and just show you a day in the life of us at our store. 
and the things that we have to deal with, things we have to do to, to keep the operation running smoothly. So, once again, I appreciate you riding along with me, and I'll get right back with you once I get the cows loaded. Oh, I realized I forgot to tell you that I had to stop by one of the storages and grab a couple of refrigerators to take to the store as well. So, uh, appreciate you hanging out with me. It's going to be a hot day today, but it's a beautiful day in Atlanta, Labor Day weekend, uh, 2021. Looking forward to enjoying it with family and friends. one of the storages and I gotta grab a few of those Galantz refrigerators So that didn't take too much time. Now we're off back to the house to get the purple couch and then we'll be heading to the store. Definitely on a day like today, it's good to stay hydrated with some water. It's, uh, it's only about 80 degrees right now here in Atlanta, but <clears throat> I'm sure it's gonna get, get up to probably about 90 degrees today. There's no rain in the forecast, so it's gonna be one of those days. So here's the purple couch that I got to load on the truck to take to the store. Couch is loaded. Headed to the store now. Whew. It's getting hot, y'all. It's getting hot out here. All right, just made it here to this and that furniture and more. As you can see, we have stuff set up outside for our Saturday sale. We're about to unload these few items here, also for the Saturday sale. I'll take you to the store right quick. As you can see, we have a lot of furniture in here. Couches, uh, different TV stands, sofa love seat sets, office chairs. We just expanded to this side over here, so we have more furniture. We have some beds over here. Mirrors, wall art, lamps. Big wall tree. Ottomans.
Alright, so I just got back. We just got to the store. And now I'm unloading the refrigerators and the purple couch that I was telling you about. Uh, we get, we're preparing for our Saturday sale today, uh, which is one of our biggest days of the week. So if you're ever looking for furniture, stop by and see us. 1924 Highway 85, Jonesboro, Georgia. This is that furniture and more. Get the scrap across this. Beautiful refrigerator here. Great for college dorm rooms, garages, upstairs bedrooms, wherever you might want to use it at. Be sure to follow us on Facebook at This and That Furniture and more on Instagram. Also, uh, we also have a website, www.thisandthatfurniture.com. And also, you can always stop by and see us at 1924 Highway 85, Jonesboro, Georgia. We are open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can also give us a call at any time, 678-360-2178. I'll show you the inside of this refrigerator. You have a freezer compartment on it. You got a refrigerator part down there. Real nice. Right, so unfortunately my battery went dead earlier. But anyway, I'm back at you. And uh, I gotta deliver this refrigerator that I set up today. I'm gonna deliver it to someone. Uh, by the way, we have plenty of them, brand new. So let's talk. I just want to let you know that uh, some weeks are great, some weeks are slow. And this week, well actually this week has been a little better, but the month of August wasn't great at all. You know, you have to take the good with the bad when you're running a business. We've been open since November. Personally, I think we've done great being a new furniture store in the area, in the city of Jonesboro. And uh, also, I'd like to thank Jonesboro for supporting us and all the other cities that come, uh, other counties, people come from other counties to support our store. But I just want to, you know, just, just let you know that if you're thinking about opening a business, it's a great idea. Why not? You know, if, if it's your dream, follow your dreams, give it all you got. Be willing to work hard and, and work smart. You know, don't, don't, don't let nobody tell you that you can't do something. You know, even in the middle of a pandemic, you know, we open our store with faith. We don't regret anything. We don't regret, you know, we're we, uh, we on our way. We also don't have to go and punch nobody else's clock. You know, we do what we like. We, we're doing what we love to do. And that's run a furniture store. And it's challenging at times, but it's also fun. It's fun to do stuff. And, you know, sometimes we fall in love with certain uh, pieces of furniture that we hate to see go. But 
that's why we purchase it. We purchase low and we, we sell it. You know, we sell it to make a profit. So sometimes that's how it happens. But I just wanted to say that right quick. If you think about starting your own business, you know, if it's a dream of yours, whatever you're cooking, you're, you know, selling tires, you're washing cars, cutting grass, whatever you decide to do in life, as long as it makes you happy, give it all you got, shoot for the stars. All right? All right, made it to my destination, getting ready to deliver this refrigerator to this home right here. Nothing like fresh money. All right, decided the truck could use a good wash. We've been working all week in it, so we're gonna pull up over here to the car wash. Cleaned up. Get big blue cleaned up a little bit here. 